y'all hey y'all hey welcome back y'all already know for what a quick little video so with that being said we are going to go ahead and jump into this actual video as we always do now y'all we get ready to go ahead and we gonna get into live the stallion so y'all y'all i see that live the stallion kids have came back home all right, they have came back home. Mm -hmm. So that means that Olivia can go ahead and get off of that temple tantrum that she has been having. Mm -hmm. Because y'all remember, Liv said that the kids were kidnapped. When the only thing that was happening was they was going to go see their father for the summertime. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the thing. If Liv would have just went head on and had nothing to say, they're his kids, they could visit while I go over here and have me a hot girl summer, but you have a hot girl life all year round anyway. So that's probably why she didn't even, you know what I'm saying, do anything for her hot girl uh, summer while the kids was with Gerard and she was having, you get what I'm saying, anxiety, panic, I mean, tantrums, attacks. All right. So, Olivia gets the kids back, and um, she has the house set up as if the kids were in the army. Mm -hmm. If the three little kids were in the army, that's how she had it set up. She had welcome signs. All right, I didn't get it, okay? But yeah, that's what the girl had. I seen it. I said, look at this simple Look at this right here. Simple, simple, simple. Okay. And this is what I mean. If you would have just laid low and you would have been quiet, what you literally had to go through to get your kids back, you most likely wouldn't have even had to go through it. Yeah, you wouldn't have had to go through it. Now, Liv, what kills me about you is this right here. You are always coming onto your platform when something goes wrong or you do not get your way. And what you do is you throw God in there every single time. Every single time, that's what you do. When we know that you don't go into no churches, we know that you uh, don't even listen to no gospel music. We know that you don't even know the Lord's prayer. Mm-hmm. We already know that you got an Amazon education and that's what you should have been doing while your kids were gone. You should have been trying to get your real GED. But instead, you were running around here acting like a fool. That's exactly what you were doing. And then you went to court and then I guess that you realized Maybe I need to come off of, you know, YouTube for a minute. So you came up off of YouTube for a while. You were missing, but you wasn't missing that much because you continued to go live on Instagram. Now, like I said, I said, you know what? This isn't going to work with Liv the Stallion. Liv the Stallion has now came on here and told us that she'll be getting a job you know what I mean? And, and and I was looking at the screen and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You ain't getting no job. You don't even have no trade. I don't even think that Olivia can fill out an application. I, I don't think so. Like, you know how Avenue and you got abbreviations, Av and states and stuff. I bet you Olivia don't even know what the abbreviations are. You you get me when filling out normal applications and stuff for stuff. Liv the Stallion ain't filled out no application to get no uh, credit card because her credit is, is blown to witherings. But that's what I thought that you would be doing. I thought that you would be at home doing some thinking strategies saying what you are going to do with your butterfly lashes, making up a goal, making up a plan for the rest of the year because you have been playing games and acting a complete fool on YouTube and you were trying to get it together. But in all reality, you didn't have no content. No. You know that without your kids, you're not going to get the views 
that you would get with them. So getting back to it, she had welcome signs and everything all over the house. And um, I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, okay. So again, she think that Dave just came back from the army and was in a war or something like that because that's how she thinks. So what got me was you brought your kids onto, you know, the camera. And um, how I looked at that is this way. Their hair was not done. Their hair was the way it is when they are with you all the time. When I saw that, I said, this is Liv. <clears throat> Liv is not going to change because being as though I seen my kids dressed and hair done and they are coming into this door looking healthier than they look when they were with me. You can tell them kids has gained some weight, okay? I would think that you would say, you know what? They were getting their hair done. They were keeping them dressed nicely or whatever. Let me keep that up, okay? Let me be a boss bitch and keep that up. Oh, no, 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 no. And see, the reason why you did that was because you were making a point. You were, the point you were making was, I'm going to do what I want to do over here with my kids. If I want their hair to be done, I'll get it done. If I don't, they're going to be exactly like this. I would have never brung them on to the camera the way that you did when they just came back and they were treated like royalty from what the way you treat them. Absolutely, they are. And you could tell. Now, there were a couple things that you said. So one of the things that you said was you said, well, um, Christian tried to come back and was calling you Olivia. He wasn't calling you mom. Hmm. Yeah, that hurt, didn't it? That he wasn't calling you mom. Mm hmm. Another phrase that I heard you say was Ryan told you not to call her, that she wasn't a baby, okay? And you said, yeah, but you're always going to be my baby. Now, this is what I mean, your way of thinking, because you're so immature and like a child. When the little girl said that, I quickly picked up on it. And the reason she said it was because Gerard and Nisha we're over there, you know, trying to get her up to date, make sure that she's potty trained and everything. And they are telling her, you're not a baby, you're a big girl. That's what you do, Liv the Stallion, when you are trying to raise a toddler and you want them to go to the bathroom and do stuff on their own. You won't, you don't want to sit there and keep um, um, telling them that they're a baby and treating them like a baby. Okay, so you then pick her up and you have her on your hip. That was the first no-no that you shouldn't have done because you're trying to get her out of the way that she is. And I understand you want to be compassionate and with your daughter or whatever, but that at that moment, you should have said, no, remember, you're a big girl now. You're not a baby. But see, that didn't click with you up here. Then I noticed you said, oh, they told me, you know, that she's uh, potty trained, but tonight I'm still going to put her on a diaper, a pull-up. They just told you that she was potty trained. So why wouldn't you carry on with what Gerard has changed. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you stop her drinks at a certain time? One, you're lazy. Why wouldn't you stop the drinks at a certain time? Before she goes to bed, make her go to bed. You can wake her up and put her back on the toilet as well because what we know is this right here. You have no job okay 
So caring for your kids and waking them up and making sure they use the bathroom, waking them up on time to make sure that they go to school on time, you shouldn't have no discrepancies with that. But we all know and have seen that you do when you literally don't have a job. That is exactly why when you said that you were quitting YouTube, I was like, girl, go sit somewhere down because you can't quit YouTube. You don't even know how to work a real functional job. Not at all. You don't even have the downright common sense. You don't even have the attitude to actually work with other people, other coworkers. You can't because your coworkers that, you know, are on YouTube, half of them, you done cussed them out. They don't like you because you phony. You done told people that they on coke and, you know, I mean, you done sent child protective services to their house and all of that. So for you to work with a coworker, Man, get out of here. That co-worker would be at that 2009 Benz every day to beat the brakes off of you. That's exactly what would happen. Let's get this clear. Let's get this very clear. Liz, don't think that, you know what I mean, you got away and you got a one up. But this is what I'm going to say to you. I knew that your kids we're not going to be taken from you. A lot of y'all, what y'all got to understand is, and a lot of y'all, y'all know this because y'all work with kids, blah, blah, blah. But for a mother to literally lose custody of her kids, she has to be literally a piss poor, I mean, the worst of the worst gutter mom. Like, Kids with the bones coming through the body because she's not feeding them. They staying in, in, in urine and feces. Um, they're not being washed up and everything. They are not going to school. I mean, they're going to neighbors' houses and knocking on doors for food. They're looking in the trash can for food. Um, you've got drug dealers and drug addicts running back and forth out of your house. Your child is outside walking up and down the street by themselves and somebody call the police and they bring them back to your house to see what's going on. That literally is what you have to do to have children taken away. See, the stuff that Liv was doing, yeah, we know that it was ridiculous. And, and inside, she really needed to have them gone to get herself together for more than six weeks. Yes. What Olivia has been showing on camera where she is saying, don't, don't judge her motherhood. Oh yes, we can judge the shit out of your motherhood because of what you have showed us on camera. But you also have said that it's for entertainment. So basically you're a liar and I'm going to get on that too. Yeah, we're going to get on that like that entertainment shit, a whole video. Okay. So that is literally what would have to happen. So I knew that um, she wasn't going to have her kids taken away. Now, that's why Gerard Liv thinks that she has one up on you. Now, I saw a message that Olivia posted on, excuse me, on her Instagram. And I will include that in here. But it said something that uh, the best father, but he sends the kids here without their hair done. And I think bummy clothes. Okay. And she said also in another one, run her, her child support. So this is my thing right here. Liv, now you want child support. But when he was offering you the 700, you didn't want it because you wanted more. So now you saying run you, your child support. Y'all have 50-50 custody. So you do what you want to do when the children are with you. And he does what he wants to do when they are with him. So whether they had their hair done or not, it did not matter. Because when, he, when they were with him, the hair was done. The clothes were cute. I mean, they, they were treated very, very well by that young lady, Nisha, that you hate so much, okay? They were treated well. 
But now you have them back and now you're going to say something about their hair and their clothes. So what? Y'all have 50-50. So now how she and Gerard got the kids hair braided, you and Stella with the boots go and do your part and keep their hair braided and keep them in, you know what I mean, some nice clothes. That's what you should worry about. But what really, really got me was this right here. You mean to tell me that you are welcoming your kids back and you did not sit down and cook them a home cook meal. You were in the kitchen cooking them eggs and toast and you ordered a pizza. And you were on live. Mm-hmm. You were on live and what you should have been doing was spending quality time with your kids that you so miss so much and you were going to go crazy and you're on live. Where does that make sense whatsoever? If I was watching your lives and I was Gerard or Nisha, and I'm sure that they were in there, and I seen that my kids had came back and you are feeding them for dinner, pizza and eggs and toast. That was a total, total, total disgrace. Eggs and toast. You could have went ahead on chopped up some chicken breast. You put some seasoning on there, put some flour on there, and fried them some real chicken nuggets, got some potatoes out there, cut them up to make french fries. But yet, you are ordering pizza. That right there is laziness at its best. Laziness. Absolutely lazy. But Gerard, if you're looking at this video, this is what I'm going to say to you. Get the kids 50% of the time and Liv gets them 50% of the time. You take them for six months and Liv takes them for six months. You file them on your taxes. Uh-huh, all three of them for six months and Liv files them on her taxes, all three of them for six months. See, it's always multiple ways that you can skin a cat. It's always multiple ways. You just got to know how to do it. And that right there is exactly what I would do. Mm -hmm. I, because right now, Olivia think that she is beyond like, she. it's ridiculous. That's what I would do. Absolutely. That is what I would do. And that's exactly what you need to do to Olivia. Six months with her and six months with you. I'm just looking and I'm like, you mean to tell me you so like you so ready for them kids to come home and you to order a pizza and some eggs and some toast. That right there lets you know what is getting ready to go down. That right there shows you that Olivia is the same exact person she was thrown off for a minute because she was scared olivia didn't know if she was gonna get her kids back if for real for real that's what olivia didn't know because see olivia didn't get a lawyer mm -hmm. but when it got real serious and, and and she knew what she knew i'm pretty sure that olivia and stella with the boots booted right on out that house <laughs> to go and get a lawyer yeah now, we see Liv the Stallion driving around, going to different little restaurants and everything, and the kids ain't even with her. My thing is, your kids have been gone, and the way that you have been acting, you would think that they would be literally glued to your side. The way you were over here acting. I mean, you screamed, oh my God, my kids were kidnapped. You opened up a GoFundMe talking about your kids were kidnapped and it was a fraud like that house that you bought was a fraud and you said you was buying it and you knew that you wasn't like that GoFundMe was a fraud 
Uh-huh. You knew that you weren't going to get no lawyer and none of that with that money. You was getting ready to go and, and spend it on you and Zolo. Uh-huh. But GoFundMe was warned that it was a fraud. And they went head on and they snatched it down. And they snatched that money back and gave it to the people that were donating you money. Thinking you, I, I, well, I don't even know what they were thinking. Because they were a little slow on the slow side too. Because they were not kidnapped. Did we see an Amber Alert? Did we hear an Amber Alert? Was anything on the news? No, none of that. Because they were not kidnapped at all. That's why it was taken down as fraud. And you keep saying, you know what I mean? You don't know why I was taken down. That's why I was taken down because it was fraud. Simple. So I'm going to go ahead y'all and slide on up off of here and I'm going to see all of you beautiful people in what the next video. Later.